Hello there, welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Please make sure you have paper handy and a pen or pencil. Yes, indeed, we're going to do a review. Yes, another review of the writing faults. We can never review these enough. Remember, writing faults are easy to, to make, to create, but at the same time, they are also easy to avoid as long as you understand what they are and you understand the correction methods. Okay, so let's review. All right, let's focus, 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 focus. We'll start with the sentence fragment. Again, what is a sentence fragment? Any guesses? Think back, you have notes and there are videos to refresh your memories. Okay, anybody, anybody? Yes, piece, exactly. A sentence fragment is a piece of a sentence. And a sentence consists of the subject and verb. So two parts, correct? Yes, indeed. And a sentence, can't speak, and a sentence is a complete thought. You should have no questions about it. None whatsoever, okay? And a sentence can stand on its own. Example, I have a marker, period. Do you have any questions about that? No, it can stand on its own. I have a marker. I know everything I need to know. Subject, I, verb, have. There we go. That's a sentence. Have a marker. That's now a fragment, a sentence fragment, because it's only a piece. And it is missing something. Have a marker. It's missing the subject, isn't it? So sentence fragments can easily miss subjects, verb, part of the verb phrase, or subject and verbs. So if you have have a marker, you could say, I have a marker and you are done. You now have a sentence. Does that make sense? Good, 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 good. Let's go on to the comma splice. What makes a comma splice easy to recognize? Any guesses? Yes, the comma, exactly. Remember, splicing means splitting in half. When you have a comma splice, you have two complete thoughts as one. You're trying to tell the reader, here, I have two sentences, but they're really one. And I'm going to punctuate them with a comma only. Wrong. You cannot have two complete thoughts. In other words, you can't have two sentences as one and then, here's your comma. It will not work. Yes, you can have two complete thoughts, two sentences as one, as long as you punctuate them correctly and the comma by itself cannot do it. Does that sound familiar? It does? All right, good job. So how can we fix the comma splice? We can, number one, the period. I have a marker, period. It is purple, period, perfect. Number two, you already see a comma, so go with it. Remember, variety, variety, variety. Extend your sentences, shrink them, extend. Vary the punctuation. So yes, use the comma and a C C. Remember your coordinate conjunctions. Boys fan, but, or, yet, so, for, and, nor. Use one of them. So comma, CC, okay? I have a marker, comma, and, not I have a marker and comma. It's comma and, it is purple, period. Number three, remember, as I told you last time, it is one that I like, okay? I love using a semicolon, so when I write, I sprinkle them throughout my work, okay? So, 
again, think about it. The use of the semicolon means that you have that two complete thoughts and they're linked. Okay, so I have a marker, comma, semicolon. It is purple, period. Purple marker, they're linked. Two complete thoughts, perfect. Yes, you can use that semicolon. That's your third fix, your third method. Okay? So there are three correction fixes. Keep that in mind. Okay. What about your run on? And we're not talking a paragraph that just goes on and on and on and on. And finally, go, oh well, one and a half pages. No. Your run on, we're talking again, two complete thoughts as one with no punctuation. Yes. It runs together. So your two complete thoughts run together. And finally, there's a period. No, we can't do that. You can't have two sentences as one without punctuation. So you have the same three correction fixes, don't you? The same three methods. The period. The comma with the CC. Or the semicolon. Any questions? No, nothing at all. Let me check to make sure I've got all that covered. Yes, indeed. That was the review on my part. Now comes your part. Guess what? Get that paper ready. You'll be writing. Okay? So I want you to make sure you put a pause to the video or however you feel comfortable doing it and copy this down. Please pay attention to the instructions. I'm going to be adding to this. I did not write the whole shtick up there. Okay. Woo! Call it the writing falls, please. That is the title. Okay. Yes, indeed. We're just going to call it the writing falls. No, you don't have to write assignment. You don't have to write the instructions, but pay attention. You are to identify the writing fault and correct. Okay. Here are the three writing faults. Please use these abbreviations. SF for sentence fragment, CS for comma splice, and RO for run on. Okay, please use those. Whew. So you're going to read through here. You're going to write these down. Okay, and then here we go. You're going to correct as in but pay attention. I don't want you to just write it and then put it in. I want you to, no, you know what? We'll, we'll shorten it. Do this. Pay, pay, pay attention. So write this out exactly as is. He needed to wash his car. He did not have time. Okay. Here's the line. You are to put whichever fault it is right there, the abbreviation. And instead of having you write it again and put the punctuation, do it the first time around, that's just fine. It's good practice, you know, in writing, but yeah, it's okay. Make sure when you correct it, I can see it. I still have problems sometimes seeing if you're writing it um, as a semicolon or just a comma. So make sure I see that period at the top. So make it nice and dark and very clear and big. So write it out and correct it as in, um, if you say it's a, a sentence fragment, Obviously, I'm going to see something added, right? Do, do not, please keep this in mind. Do not move words around, especially with the sentence frame. Don't move it around. You take it as the package as you see it. It's a package deal. And you may have to put something in front of it, in, um, next to it at the end. However, but don't move the words around and say, oh, now I've got a sentence. I dropped that word. No, 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 don't. Because you're changing what the writer's trying to say. Same thing actually with the other two faults. Okay, take it as it is. So make your correction. So if you think it's a sentence fragment, I'm gonna see some words added. If you think it's a comma splice, I better see somewhere um, a comma and a CC, a semicolon, a period, and then it, I better see a capitalization if you put the period. Does that make sense? Okay, so example would be, We'll say, um, I had um, nothing. We'll just say I have nothing there. So it's going to be a run on. 
I have a marker, and I'm going to use the period. So you're going to see it right like this, and a capital, capital like that. Does that make sense? I have a marker, I see that period, and then you need to make sure you capitalize, okay? No, you don't have to under, underline that I, I'm just trying to point that out. Does that make sense? So those are the added instructions. So no, you don't have to write it twice. I was going to, but it's okay. Do it the first time, just make sure you do everything that I need to see. So keep these in mind, fill in those blanks, it's part of your the grade. The second one is the little girl lost her cat, she was sad. The sky was dark, it began to rain heavily. Whenever the TV does not work, Felix read two books, they were very interesting. Are there any questions about what to do? Does everyone understand? So in a way you're doing it with this, like I have up here, okay? No, you don't have to circle it again. That's just to point out what I'm doing so that you know what to do. Just make sure I can see the period and I see that you've capitalized. Don't put a period there and the next word is just a lowercase i. That's incorrect. Okay, any questions whatsoever about this assignment? So yes, this was a little bitty review for whatever comes down the road. No questions? Sounds good to me. Um, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Just remember, copy this down. Nice and neat and dark, all the marks. Okay, don't forget right here, abbreviations right there. Okay, um, so I wish you a good day, and I will see you next class period. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.